Here we go again. A new report finding a glitch of the president's health care law that could pit neighbor against neighbor, giving a significant financial break to people who retire early. Turns out those who work could be paying as much as 50 percent more than those who take Social Security benefits. To the doctor, not at all surprised because he said this law was flawed from the start. And here's the scary thing about Sridhar Padarazu. Everything he has said would happen with this, has happened with this. So I want you to pay attention to this and to him. Doctor, good to have you. Good to be back. Thank you, you Neil. What's scary about this is you're working, you're paying more. Uh, and in some cases, a lot more. <clears throat> Detail this. So, you know, Neil, the fundamental element within the whole law links income to coverage. So how much you make has a huge impact in terms of how coverage is determined. And in this loophole, just as you said, for pre-65 retirees, if you've got a part-time worker today who chooses to get insurance through the new exchange, it will be more beneficial for somebody to claim Social Security and pay less on their health insurance premium than it will be for somebody who's only working part time and not claiming that benefit. And if you look. So what's the reward? What's the reward there? Presumably, if you're working, you know, you're, you're saving the government some bucks and now well, you're being penalized for it. Well, that's exactly it. And if you look time and time again at every time we find a hiccup within the law, it keeps coming back to the math that factors in how much people make and what they qualify for because the employers figured out that instead of paying the minimum level of coverage based on income it's probably cheaper to pay the penalty more people could qualify for medicaid because their eligibility based on income is now going to be changed and now you're seeing it impact the retirees in a third example so that this mathematical relationship between impact between income and coverage is so flawed that I believe this is one of the biggest landmines within the law that we've seen yet. And the definition of income, which they use the tax code for, is going to now fuel more ammunition for those that want to repeal the law. You know, um, I guess I should have listened to you at the outset, doctor, because a lot <laughs> of times when I thought you were crazy about these warnings down to waiting rooms that would get crowded and you'd be waiting longer. Nevertheless, I've wised up now. I'm starting to listen to you. But but now here's what I'm worried about, um, that there are going to be more little surprises coming our way. Um, and this is going to cost a heck of a lot more than we've ever envisioned. It's going to already cost a heck of a lot more because in what I just described to you, imagine that you've got to have the IRS hooked into the Social Security Administration, hooked into all of the states and their Medicaid programs and all of the employers and all of the insurance companies so everybody can share this information to determine who's eligible and who's not. And you've heard me in the past, Neil, say that we haven't factored in what it's going to cost so that everybody can share that data. We've already handed out over a thousand waivers. That's now apparently going to stop because that is now going to undermine part of the savings Employers are going to be probably dropping coverage. A lot of the expected behavioral changes that the CBO thought were going to happen are completely contrary to what everybody sold us on and what they predicted, so that the underlying economics and assumptions right now no longer exist. You know, yeah. if you remember in, uh, in high school math when our teachers used to say you don't just get credit for showing the answer, you've got to show your work and how you got I there. I hated that because I always copied I know. off the person in front of me. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's not good. We should have done the same thing with the CBO. Yeah, you were the guy who was copying off the doctor. Uh, very good <laughs> having so. you. Thank you very, very much.